Google just dropped a game-changing update to Jules that's going to blow your mind. This AI coding agent now has its own built-in critic that checks your code before you even see it. It can show you visual previews of your changes. It responds to GitHub comments like a real developer. And the best part is completely free to get started. I'm about to show you exactly how this works and why every developer needs to know about this. Plus, I'll reveal the one feature that makes this better than any human coder. Trust me, you've never seen anything like what I'm about to show you. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency, Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below. So what exactly is Jules? Think of it as your personal coding assistant that works in the cloud. You give it a task like fix this bug or add test to this component. It goes away, clones your repo, makes all the changes and comes back with a complete pull request ready for you to review. But here's where it gets crazy. The new update just made Jules 10 times more powerful. And I'm going to show you exactly what changed and how you can use it today. First up, Jules is officially out of beta. That means everyone can use it now. No more waiting lists, no more limited access. Just go to jules.google and you're in. But that's just the beginning. The real magic is in the new critic feature. This is huge. Jules now has a built-in adversarial review system that checks its own work. Before it even shows you the code, it runs through a second AI that looks for logic errors, performance issues, and potential bugs. This isn't just a spell checker. This critic actually understands your project context and your intentions. It's like having a senior developer review every single line of code before it gets to you, and it catches stuff that would take you hours to find. Here's what makes this insane. Most AI tools give you code and cross their fingers that it works. Jules now double checks everything. The critic catches problems, sends it back for fixes, and only then gives you the final result. It's like having two AI developers working together. And wait until you see the visual testing support. Jules can now show you screenshots and previews of what your changes actually look like. If you're working on a UI component, you don't have to guess how it looks. Jules shows you before and after images right in the pull request. Think about how much time this saves. No more pushing code just to see if the button moved to the right place. No more guessing if your CSS changes actually worked. Jules shows you exactly what happened visually, but it gets even better. Jules now integrates directly with GitHub issues and pull request comments. You can literally leave a comment saying, make this function faster, and Jules will respond with code changes. It's like having a developer on your team who never sleeps. Let me show you how this actually works in practice. You connect your GitHub repo to Jules. If you have an agents.md file in your repo, Jules uses that to understand your project structure and conventions. Then you just give it a task. Let's say you write, fix the login bug where users can't reset passwords. Jules creates a plan, shows it to you, and waits for approval. Once you say yes, it goes to work. The critic reviews everything. If there are issues, it fixes them automatically. Then you get a perfect pull request. Now, here's something most people don't know about yet. Jules remembers your previous setups. If you've run similar tasks before, it reuses that environment to work faster. Your second task takes half the time of your first. This is where Jules starts to feel like magic. It's learning your code base, your patterns, and your preferences. Each task makes it smarter for the next one. And here's the kicker about pricing. The free tier gives you real value. You get multiple tasks per day and can run several at once. For most developers, that's enough to handle daily bug fixes and small features. If you need more, there are pro and ultra plans with higher limits and priority access, but you can get serious work done on the free tier. Google isn't messing around with artificial limits. Now, let me tell you about the AI Profit Boardroom. This is where entrepreneurs are using AI tools like Jules to scale their businesses and save hundreds of hours. If you want to see how business owners are automating their workflows and getting more customers with AI, check out the link in the description. But here's what nobody's talking about yet. The privacy and safety updates are huge. Jules doesn't use your code to train its models. Your proprietary code stays yours, and it never makes changes without your approval. Everything goes through you first. This solves the biggest problem with AI coding tools. Most developers worry about sharing their code with AI systems. Jules has built-in protections that keep your intellectual property safe. The critic feature also reduces what developers call slop code. That's when AI generates code that works but isn't clean or maintainable. The adversarial review catches these issues and forces better solutions. Let me show you a real example. Say you ask Jules to optimize a slow database query. The initial code might work but use inefficient joins. The critic catches this, sends it back, 
and the final solution uses proper indexing and query optimization. You get production-ready code instead of quick fixes that cause problems later. Here's another game changer. Jules can now handle multimodal tasks. If your project has images, diagrams, or visual components, Jules understands them. It can modify UI elements while seeing how they actually look. This opens up possibilities that didn't exist before. You can ask it to make the header more prominent, and it knows exactly what you mean because it can see your current design. The GitHub integration is deeper than you might think. Jules doesn't just create pull requests, it participates in code review discussions. Team members can ask questions in PR comments, and Jules responds with explanations or additional changes. It's like adding an expert developer to every code review, someone who knows the entire code base and can explain any change instantly. But let's talk about the limitations because I don't want to oversell this. The critic is new and not perfect. It catches most issues, but not everything. You still need to review the code yourself. Jules also still requires human approval for every change. It won't automatically commit anything to your main branch. You maintain full control over what gets merged. The free tier has daily limits. Heavy users will hit those limits and need to upgrade. But for most developers, the free tier provides real value. Some users report issues with certain scripts or tool integrations. Jules works best with standard development workflows. If you have custom build processes or unusual tooling, you might hit edge cases. Here's how to get started today. Go to jules.google.com. Sign in with your Google account. Connect your GitHub repos. Pick a test project to try it on first. Start with small tasks. Fix a simple bug or add basic tests. See how Jules handles your code base before giving it complex work. Pay attention to the critic feedback. When Jules shows you its plan, look for the adversarial review notes. This tells you what the critic flagged and how it was fixed. Use the visual features if you're doing UI work. The before and after screenshots can save you tons of debugging time. Experiment with the GitHub comment integration. Leave feedback on pull requests and see how Jules responds. This feature alone can change how your team does code reviews. Here's what I think happens next. The critic feature will get more sophisticated. Google will expand it to catch more types of issues and provide better suggestions. The visual testing will probably extend to mobile previews and cross-browser testing. Imagine Jules showing you how your changes look on different devices automatically. I expect better integration with more development tools, IDEs, testing frameworks, deployment pipelines. Jules could become the central hub for your entire development workflow. The usage limits will probably get more generous as Google scales the infrastructure. The free tier could expand to handle bigger projects and more concurrent tasks. There might be autonomous features where Jules proactively suggests improvements to your code base. Imagine it finding performance bottlenecks or security issues without you asking. The real potential is in making coding accessible to non-developers. Business owners could describe what they want and get working applications without writing any code themselves. But here's what excites me most. Jules represents a new model for AI development tools. Instead of replacing developers, it's making them more productive. The critic ensures quality. The visual features reduce guesswork. The integrations eliminate friction. Let me give you the bottom line. This Jules update is massive. The critic feature alone makes it more reliable than most human code reviews. The visual testing saves hours of debugging. The GitHub integration fits perfectly into existing workflows and it's free to start using today. You have no excuse not to try this. Go to jules.google right now, connect to test repo, give it a simple task and see what happens. I guarantee you'll be impressed by what comes back. Want to make more money with AI? Welcome to the free AI money lab with Julian Goldie. Inside, you'll get 50 plus free AI tools and 200 plus chat GPT SEO prompts. You'll learn how to make money with AI agents, get 1000 plus free N, 8N workflows, See how one member made 10,000 plus with ChatGPT and get a full blueprint to generate thousands of leads free with AI. What you'll also get is a free AI community, free AI course, and proven AI case studies. Julian reads every single comment, so make sure you share your experience and hit that subscribe button if you want more AI updates like this. And I'll see you in the next video where I'll show you another AI tool that's changing everything.